Okay, so first we know that uh, uh, n is c over it's the it's the ratio of the speed of light to the speed, right, of the wave in general, and we know that uh, the speed of the wave in general v is equal to the lambda times the frequency right so um, in vacuum uh, if you put these two together well in general you would get um, uh, the uh, lambda Oh man, why is this doing this? Okay, this thing here froze on me a second. Uh, okay, so uh, putting these two together, we get that the relationship uh, between the two is that n will equal to c divided by lambda times the frequency yeah so if this was vacuum uh, this would be vacuum and those two are the same and if this is glass then it'll be for the glass so n vacuum over n glass will equal to c over lambda vacuum times the frequency divided by c because it's light yeah over um, lambda uh, of the glass times the frequency you can cross this out cross this out this is one so uh, one over n of for the glass has to equal lambda for the glass divided by lambda in vacuum which means the lambda in the glass has to equal um, lambda in vacuum divided by n in the glass so that means the lambda in the glass will has to equal to 600 divided by 1.5 so that would be what 600 divided by 1.5 is 400 nanometers yeah four hundred nanometers uh, so we can box this so this is the first answer so this is the wavelength in the glass and then we need to find the color for this yeah uh, so uh, If you look at the electromagnetic spectrum, you will see that 400 nanometers is about, uh, it's like more like the violet blue. It's actually, it's more towards the violet. You'll be in the violet. You'll be towards, uh, to the left of the blue, dark blue. So I believe that this will be violet. Violet color. No? Yeah, but the frequency is. Like, you can't have a. Like, if the work function of, the, of something is 
like if you want to if you want to uh, eject an electron from an atom, and and the work function is 